everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today it's another chit chat video. I'm going to talk about the bad decisions I've made in the past. So these are the things that I look back on and I think I should have known better uh, and I thought to share with you. But uh, before we start today's video, here's a quick message from Gugu Xueyuan. 听听这支影片的人呢，应该都是大学刚毕业或者是呃社会新鲜人啊，小资族等等。那今天要跟大家推荐的平台呢是股股学院哦，这是一个可以学习投资理财的平台。平常我们在 YouTube 上面呢、啊，就是资讯非常的爆炸嘛。我自己有在做线上课程，所以我当然也有透过很多的线上课程来学习哦。在平台上面非常适合理财新手的是《女人的幸福理财术》这门课哦。讲师呢是黑妈王佩文，因为我自己呢有看她的书，所以接下来我会在影片里面说明一些《女人的幸福理财术》这门课里面有提到，而且我也有在用的一些理财还有理债的方法。好啦，那我们就先回到影片吧。我在二十。三岁的时候犯的错误。Mistake number one: trying too hard to prove myself. In college, I felt like I was in a constant race with everyone. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in life. There seemed to be endless possibilities, but at the same time, pessimistic as I was, I saw only challenges and、um, possibilities to fail. I guess. So just like everyone, I was deeply, deeply insecure, and the way for me to overcome that insecurity was trying very hard to prove that I wasn't a failure, and that somehow I managed to get a 4.0 GPA. Somehow I managed to study abroad. But those labels that I chased so hard after ended up just being bandages for my broken ego. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing. I feel like someday it would occur to me that oh wow, I was such a failure. Um, so I tried really hard to prove myself that I didn't screw up. But now, honestly, I feel like that fear of being a failure has been long gone. I don't feel that way anymore because I know, in fact, life is just an infinite game,、uh, which means that you can always fail and get up again and and try harder, and maybe sometime you would win. Winning or losing at any given point doesn't really mean much. Most important thing is that I stay in the game. Well, in the past, I feel like I see life more as a race that I don't want to fall behind. I don't want to lose too badly. I don't want to be a public shame. But now I see things as experiences. Like I want to try to be a YouTuber. I would want to try to put up my own course. And at the same time, I would also like to read and hike and you know go to the gym.、Um, Be a healthy person. That's also an experience. Everything is just an experience for me. I know for a fact that even I'm not where I want to be, it's still okay. I just need to stay in the game as long as possible, and someday I'll be there. As long as I'm happy with my own experience on Earth, then everything's good. Mistake number two: tracking my expenses was not enough. In college, I kind of tracked my expenses. But that didn't really affect my purchasing decisions. I would still buy things that I wanted, but not needed,、uh, as long as it's within my means. Then, right after I graduated, I took a student loan to study abroad. That's when it finally hit me because if I don't track my expenses and if I don't know how much money I've been spending, I would actually starve. I would actually don't have money to buy food, and I would probably not be able to afford a ticket home. That's when I started budgeting. Uh, say if I have two hundred dollars for entertainment this month, and if I spend eighty dollars on Zara, which is honestly not that much, but it means that I've already spent forty percent of my entertainment budget. Spending eighty dollars on Zara means that I only have sixty percent of the entertainment left for the month. And seeing that bar graph really puts things into perspective. I would actually know how much more I can spend, or else. I'm not gonna be able to go home. <laughs> you you really need the budget. So budget, budget, budget. Budget is everything.、You、gotta track your budget. Don't go over your budget. That's how you actually track your expenses.、Uh, well, I'm by no means an expert when it comes to personal finance. So I like to recommend an online course that would really help you ease your ways into planning your personal finance. 好，那今天要跟大家分享的课程呢，就是女人的幸福理财术。当时我搬到加拿大之后呢，就发现。哦，我真的只有这笔钱可以花哎，所以当时我就发现说，每一次记说哦，今天早餐吃多少，午餐花多少，然后这个月买衣服花多少，这种记账方式真的非常非常不管用的。那黑妈她在书中啊，然后在课程里面提到的记账啊、理财理债的方式呢，跟我自己在加拿大做账的方式其实非常非常的接近哦。第一个黑妈有提到的呢，就是九宫格理财术。其实我们平常记账的时候，不外乎就是记一些食衣住行娱乐啊。
但其实啊，在九宫格内其实应该还有债务、税金还有保险。像是当时呢，我就有贷款嘛，所以其实本身是有债务，每个月是需要还债的。然后呢，我住在加拿大的时候也会需要缴税，所以债务跟税金呢，都是当时我比较忽略没有注意到的。但如果你用九宫格的方式来掌握自己的收支的话呢，就可以看到这些有点类似隐藏的花费哦。那黑妈提到第二种报表呢，就是要整合资产还有负债。我们常常就是很努力的工作啊，打工啊，但是呢，最后发现。存的钱怎么好像，哎，都非常的少。其实就是我们没有在注意自己资产以及负债，最后产生多少现金流。另外一个我在书中学到呢，就是理债的方式。嗯，刚毕业的时候呢，就贷款出国念书，所以其实心理上的压力是很大的。那其实债呢，也不是说啊慢慢赚我就慢慢还，其实还债也有很多的策略跟规划的。通过黑妈三个理债的大。原则啊，其实可以整合很多现有的债务，不会觉得好像越还越多，还得没完没了。总之，上完这个课程之后，你就不会只是把开销流水账式记在 App 里面啦、啊，不只是理财还有理债哦。所以，无论你是小资族啊、理财新手啊，或甚至是还有学贷卡债的社会新鲜人，我觉得这门课呢都非常非常值得看哦。那影片上线的时候呢，还有八折的募资优惠哦。另外啊，下载了股股的 App 就可以随时上课，一堂课只有十五分钟，可以利用零碎的时间吸收，比较没有负担哦。那课程跟 App 的连接呢，我通通都会放在下面的资讯栏。好啦，我们就回到英文的部分吧。Mistake number three: Drinking doesn't make me more interesting. And I've always thought that drinking on social occasions make me more confident,、um, sociable, and spontaneous. Especially in college, when all of your friends go out on the weekend, drinking is just a way to socialize with people. And I never want to be the person who doesn't drink at a party. So slowly but surely, I started linking alcohol. With fun times, good times with my friends, it's all in my head. But there is somehow an association in my head. As you can probably tell, as much as I want to be chill and laid back, I am still a very, very uptight person. So drinking really helped me、uh, de-stress and stop overthinking. And I really like the、um, chill and laid back. Fun kind of lily, you know. But as I grow older, I know the hangovers become worse and worse. If you've been drinking, you know age really gets to you. Honestly, I've come to terms with the fact that I'm just not an extroverted party person. I've been trying to have fun times, good times with my friends, and have little to no alcohol involved. While sometimes I still break the rule, just sometimes. But overall, this is my rule of thumb for partying nowadays. And I realize that sober Lily and Lily after three shots can both be really interesting. Hopefully. And last but not least, mistake number four: good people don't leave you wondering. I'm sure that we've all been in a situation when you just think. Well, what is he thinking, or what is she thinking? It's a really nagging feeling because you feel like there is something wrong, but you just can't tell what it is. Maybe they never get back to you, or they never come through with their promises, or maybe they're hot and cold. Sometimes you would start thinking,、um, Is there anything wrong with me? Did I do something wrong?、Uh, why is this relationship just kind of off? One thing that I learned is that. A relationship that leads to self-doubt and uncertainty, no matter how exciting it is, is usually toxic. <laughs> well, I had a friend.、Um, yeah, I use past tense because I don't think we're friends anymore. And we made plans together almost every weekend.、Uh, we'd say, "Oh, let's meet at 10 p.m. at this bar." But 10 p.m. comes and goes, and she's just nowhere to be found. It's like she fell off the face of Earth. And then at midnight, she would just call me and say, "Hey, Lily, where are you? Let's meet." As if we didn't say that we're gonna meet at 10. And even though okay, she kind of stood me up, but everything just seemed normal to me when we hung out. So I kind of just let it slide.、Mm, and then a while later, I realized that. Uh, the reason why she disappeared all the time was because she would make plans with three groups of people on a Friday night, and she would meet up with Group A first. And if it's not fun for her, she would then move to Group B. And I'm always Group B or C. That's why she's gone from 10 to 11 or midnight. And wow, this is just so toxic and just just straight up. I'm、disrespectful. Thinking back, like I should have seen the signs from a mile away, but all I thought was just, I 
mean she's cool when she's here so anyways more of the story whether it's dating or friendship if you think there's something wrong with them 99.9 percent .9 of the time you're right 99.9 .9, no exception you might not be able to see it right away you might not know what's wrong you feel like it's wrong well someday maybe someday you will find out why this person is so toxic and when that time comes i think you'll have closure but before that truly really stop making excuses for people who are not worth it i think good people wouldn't leave you wondering is all so these are the mistakes i made when i was 23 it was a long time ago hopefully you <laughs> at least learned some english from my stories let me know if you want more chit chat videos and anyways that's about it for today and i'll see you guys really soon Bye-bye.